Jumbo fellow dreamers, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I am decorating my magic band for my upcoming Disney World trip. I have a video on how I decorated my magic band last November, so I will leave a card up here and the link in the description bar below so you guys can find how last year's compares with this year's. And I'm excited to show you what I did with this year's because I think it's a little bit easier than what I did last time. So let's go check it out. So here is our magic band box. We just got it the other day. Um, you can see the two Two bands we got. My husband, Mr. Simple Life, has a blue one there, and I picked out purple. Really cute, but I wanted to bling it up. So in the parks, I wear C bands to help with my motion sickness. So I wanted to make sure that um, the sizing of the band would work with the C band. So I'm just going to put the C band on my wrist here. You can find these on Amazon. I'll link them below. They're fantastic um, for motion sickness. So I realized that if I didn't take this little gray part off of the magic band, it wouldn't fit really well because of the C band. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my adult size band into a child band. So I'm just going to peel this gray part off. Now note when you do this, you can't put it back on. So you have to be very sure that you want to peel this off um, to fit your wrist, you know, cause you can't go back. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pretty hefty nail file and I'm going to file the edges down on the magic band. When you take that gray part off, it leaves a little bit of a plastic, it's not a residue, that's not the right word, but it's like a plastic little pieces that are a little bit rough on your skin. So just taking a nail file to that will make those edges nice and clean. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some metallic outdoor paint. I got this from Michaels. They had a ton of different colors and I picked a brassy rose gold color for my magic band. So I'm just going to squeeze it onto some aluminum foil and take a foam brush that I also got from Michaels in the same area of the store. And I'm going to lightly coat the entire purple part of the magic band with my paint. Now, the reason I picked outdoor paint is because it's waterproof and pretty durable um, and I know that it's going to rain when we're at Disney it just does that it's like four o'clock and the heavens open it always <laughs> rains in the afternoon at Disney so I'm just doing real light coats here letting them dry for about 15 minutes or so in between each coat and for this I needed a total of about three coats or so and then I put an extra coat on top of the two Mickey head parts. There's one on the end of the band there and then there's one right in the middle where the RFID chip is and that's that. I mean it was a really easy transformation. A little bit messy. I got some stuff on my fingers here but not a huge deal. It coated really nicely and it's definitely going to stay on and I know that it's going to look a lot different than most other people's magic bands in the park. So I'm pretty impressed with how this turned out. And because of the outdoor waterproof paint, it'll last in the Florida elements. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. If you haven't already and you'd like to hit that button down below, subscribe so you never miss a daily dreamland video. Kiss someone you love today and I'll see you all tomorrow. Ciao.